Hey, what's good, y'all? It's the kid, Jared Sanders, a.k.a. your resident minister, a.k.a. Mr. Hope is Dope, a.k.a. the preacher with a grill, keeping it real. And I would like to welcome y'all to episode 14 of Misfit Moments. That's right. I'm going to be tapping in with y'all weekly to give y'all a little sprinkle of what God gave me in hopes to edify, educate, and encourage y'all on how to live the life of a misfit. See, the motto with the misfits comes from Romans 12 and 2. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Listen, I don't intend to be before you long. And yeah, I know every preacher in America has probably said this before, but I believe in the power of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. And the key component in that is often missed. And it's that with all the Beatitudes and the blessed of those, there was kids there too, you feel me? It wasn't just 5,000 men. If it was, I would wonder why they abandoned their families. If it was 5,000 plus men and women, I would wonder why they kept their babies with grandmama and them. So I think it's safe to say that there were kids there too. Cool? I'm going to be coming from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. It goes, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and sound judgment. I'm going to be teaching from, I ain't never scared. You feel me? All right, so check it out. Who has fears? Like, what if I fail? What if I lose someone or something close to me? What if I never get the thing that I've been praying for and working really hard for? If I don't ever learn to block out the fear from my life, guess what? The likelihood is it's probably gonna rob me of the life that God has planned for me, right? Fear is that bully that's on that school playground that grabs you by the shirt and be like, give me your lunch money or I'm gonna beat your behind. You know what I'm saying? There's this part of us on the inside, though, that bullies ourselves, that entertains these what-if scenarios. And those what-if scenarios tend to create fear and they tend to hold us back, right? See, the more that you listen to that little voice in your mind, the more power you give to the fear that God did not give you. But check it out. Even if the bully seems too big for you to defeat, guess what? I know that I don't have to run and hide, right? See, God has given us every single thing that we need to fight back in the wind. So when the bully starts doubting you, that internal voice starts doubting you, causing you to ask a whole bunch of what ifs. Guess what? We can learn to answer back with God said that he will. My daddy said so. Then my daddy how shot the T.I. ATL. What if I fail is no longer as important, right? Instead of thinking, what if I fail? Guess what? God says he gonna pick me up and fully restore me. He says he's never gonna leave me or forsake me. What if I lose someone that's close to me? God says that he's gonna comfort me. Like, what if I never get the thing that I'm praying for? God says he's gonna already provide us every single thing that we need. Like, even at the bottom of the worst fear that we could possibly have, Guess what? God is big, dog. And God don't need to duck any kind of punches. God don't need to duck any kind of issue from nobody. Anybody that's bringing static to God, trust me, he got the one, two, boop, boop, boop for all of them. You feel me? And if we begin to hear God's voice, we'll see and we'll understand that he loves us so much that he can kick fears behind and kick it out of our lives. So all you got to do is accept him, obey him, and understand that he got your back. You feel me? Well, that's all I got. That was the misfit moment for today. I ain't never scared and you ain't never got to be scared because you got a big guy who got big goals and he got big things in store for you and plans to prosper you and never harm you. And again, Continue to always recall Romans 12 and 2. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and perfect and acceptable will of God. That's all my time for y'all, y'all.